Prince Harry's newly created persona will allow the Duke of Sussex to distance him from any previous offensive gaffes. According to a royal expert, the Duke of Sussex has tried to create a new persona in a bid to put some distance between him and being the heir to the Duke of Edinburgh, who is known for his cheeky gaffes and one-liners. Thomas Mace, Archer Mills, founder of the British Monarchist Society, told the Daily Star, the Duke of Sussex has chosen to ignore and forget his less than favorable gaffes by burying them under several layers of political correctness and woke cushioning, in a hope that his newly created persona will distance him from any wrongdoing or offense he caused when his gaffes were knowingly made. Mr. Mace, Archer Mills added how there is nothing funny about Harry anymore and the Duke, unlike his grandfather, is now unable to use humor in his favor. He said not only have times changed, so has Prince Harry. The royal expert went on to say how the royal used to be a lad's lad but claimed the once happy-go-lucky chap is nowhere to be seen since stepping down from the royal family. Following Prince Philip's death last month, Harry paid tribute to his grandfather and said he was the master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end. However, Mr. Mace, Archer Mills said Philip's passing was the end of Windsor's great gaffes. He said, if there were any aspirations on the part of Harry to be the heir to Philip's legend of banter, then those very aspirations are sadly misconstrued, misunderstood and misguided, a failure. With the passing of Prince Philip, so went the last of the Windsor's great gaffes. Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as members of the royal family last year and moved to California with their son Archie. However, Harry faced backlash from Americans after claiming the First Amendment was bonkers. While appearing on the Armchair Expert podcast, Harry told host Dax Shepard, I've got so much I want to say about the First Amendment as I sort of understand it, but it is bonkers. I don't want to start going down the First Amendment route because that's a huge subject and one which I don't understand because I've only been here a short time, but you can find a loophole in anything. You can capitalize or exploit what's not said rather than uphold what is said. But Mr. Mace, Archer Mills said the previously relatable and fun Harry is now a partisan, divisive, talking head that chastises and lectures his home nation and belittles his family. Meghan and Harry shocked the world when they announced they were stepping down as members of the royal family. Since stepping away, the couple have made several explosive comments about their time within the firm. During the bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, the Duke and Duchess also accused an unnamed royal, not the Queen or her late husband Prince Philip, of voicing concerns about how dark their son Archie's skin tone would be before he was born. Meghan also told the chat show host she asked for help when she was suicidal but claimed the royal family gave her no support. Last week, Harry also told the Armchair Expert podcast how he does not want to pass on pain from his own experience to his son and future daughter. Harry said, I don't think we should be pointing the finger or blaming anybody, but certainly when it comes to parenting, if I've experienced some form of pain or suffering because of the pain or suffering that perhaps my father or my parents had suffered, I'm going to make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, basically. It's a lot of genetic pain and suffering that gets passed on anyway so we as parents should be doing the most we can to try and say, you know what, that happened to me, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Since stepping down, the couple have signed multi-million dollar deals with Spotify and Netflix.